Our next topic covers what chemicals are needed to open a swimming pool. Water is not complex. Over the winter, outdoor swimming pool water becomes contaminated because of environmental factors such as dead leaves, dirt, and severe weather. This results in cloudy or green water. This must be corrected in order to restore your water to its natural state. Water that appears clean and clear is naturally more appealing to swim in. The fewer chemicals are the better. The more natural the better. And safer for the whole family. That's why we recommend a simplistic and proven combination of liquid chlorine and clean and clear from sea pool and spa. Not only is it the cheapest method of maintaining a pool, but it is the safest way to open pools. Yes, you could use a wheelbarrow full of chemicals, but they would not produce a better result and would cost a lot more. If clean and clear by sea pool and spa is unavailable in your region or country, I recommend the following chemicals and process when opening an outdoor pool. Use a water clarifier that contains a solution of positively charged particles that interact with the negatively charged particles present in the pool that are causing mildly cloudy water. The particles clump together and can be filtered out. Liquid flocculants are ideal for severely cloudy water. They coagulate the cloudy water particles into masses that settle quickly to the pool floor. Alum is used as a mineral flock and works great as long as the pH doesn't wander. Chlorine is the most widely used sanitizer and algae control chemical in use today. Free chlorine is the objective to maximize the sanitation activity of the water. It is critical to note that the pH of the water is the vital determinant of the effectiveness of hypochlorous acid, the active ingredient in chlorine. Keep the pH under 7.5 to maximize sanitation effectiveness. Algaceed is necessary to kill green, yellow, and black algae. It is necessary to add an algae seed at the opening to help the chlorine clear the water. The target levels of chemicals is determined by testing and here are the targets and how to correct the levels. pH, 7.0 to 7.7. .7. Total alkalinity, 80 to 120 ppm. Calcium, hardness, 100 to 400 ppm. Chlorine, 1 to 4 ppm. To increase. pH, add caustic soda. Alkalinity, add sodium bicarbonate. Calcium, hardness add calcium chloride. To decrease. pH, add muriatic acid. Alkalinity, add liquid or dry acid. Calcium hardness, add flocculent keep pH and alkalinity in the proper range. Chlorine, time, and sunlight will deplete CL levels. People ask how much does it cost to open a swimming pool? Above-ground pools should cost no more than $40 if it is DIY. In-ground pools should cost between $60 to $70 if it is DIY. If professionals are involved the cost will clearly escalate. If clean and clear is used at the beginning of the season, that is enough to last the entire year. It just needs to be topped off periodically. So it is a bit misleading. The initial cost is really the cost of the year. That cost of clean and clear is only $50 for above-ground pools and $100 for in-ground pools. That replaces all the chemicals, except some chlorine, for the entire year. What month should I open my pool? We recommend opening pools no later than the end of May, for pools in a northern climate. Otherwise, the algae will have set in and will be difficult to control over the summer. Note that if the average daytime temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, it is time to open the pool. What chemicals do I need to open my pool for the first time? If the pool is new, and the water fresh, use only a minimum of chlorine and condition the water with clean and clear. It will last all season and you will not have to worry about water balance or algae because it automatically prevents algae growth. Use just enough chlorine to sanitize the water. Fresh water from a municipality is already carefully balanced and drinkable. There is no need to disrupt this balance by adding chemicals other than some chlorine and clean and clear as a stabilized mineral treatment. These additives merely continue the sanitation and balance levels already existing. How long after treating a pool with clean and clear and chlorine can you swim? Wait for the chemicals and minerals to dissolve and dissipate throughout the water. One half hour is suitable, 